Now at 5:30 a Miami Dade school is under fire tonight. This is over the decision to restrict access to a poem written by poet Amanda Gorman. The poem in question is the one that she read at President Biden's 2020 inauguration. And while it has not been banned, officials have moved it to another location in the school's media center following a parental complaint. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray has more. We, the successors of a country and a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president. Amanda Gorman's poem, The Hill We Climb, read at President Biden's inauguration, is now restricted to middle schoolers at the Bob Graham Education Center in Miami Lakes after a parent filed a complaint saying it's not educational and indirectly has hate messages. CBS Miami obtained a copy of that complaint and four others, the ABCs of Black History, Love to Langston, which deals with the poetry of Langston Hughes, the book Cuban Kids, and Countries in the News Cuba. Parents cite critical race theory and indoctrination. I was horrified by the complaint form itself. Parent and activist Stephen Johnson says he does not like the process of how material is being reshelved. Parents can object to the use of specific material, and districts decide how to address those objections. In this case, a panel at the school decided on the restriction. I think this law is a active attack on black history and, and uh, at this point, the contribution of, of black poets and, and literary figures. But if you have to follow the law, I would hope that Miami-Dade County would do so in a consistent manner. And I think that doing so in a centralized way rather than an ad hoc school level way is probably a little bit uh, more efficient and effective. Poet Amanda Gorman wrote a long tweet saying she was gutted and urging followers to speak out. It is not pornographic, it is not profane, it is not racist, it is not divisive. It is actually inspiring, fact-based and inclusive. And I think it provided a monumental opportunity for us as a nation to reflect where we were, where we are and where we need to go. And school board member Dr. Steve Gallen said the controversy is an opportunity for the school board to take another look at how to handle material a parent finds objectionable. We have to strike a balance in a diverse community, in an inclusive community, and quite frankly, in an educational system that really is grounded on freedom of expression and freedom of ideas. There is a lawsuit underway challenging these book restrictions in Florida, and Amanda Gorman is supporting that lawsuit. In Miami Lakes, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.